Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and today's video. I have an update video for you today on the Look Fantastic Black Friday box that I received. Now, I know that was at the end of November uh, and we're now towards the end of March, um, but it's took me that long to get through the, uh, through the products. Uh, let's get into it then everybody. The first item I received in that box was the Solista Beauty Charcoal Detox Face Mask. This um, this was a sheet mask and the RRP of this is $7.99. Now, the smell of it is divine, I can still smell it. What did I think to this product? Well, first of all, the actual sheet mask itself, I believe this is a Korean brand. Um, and all I can say is, Korean ladies must have a much smaller face than what I've got. Because when I put it on, the eye holes were like, like this big. Um, so it literally just, <laughs> like, the actual part that was open was just so tiny. Um, and the mouth bit and everything, the whole thing was very, very small. And I've not got the largest head and face. I mean, my head, I can wear kids' size cycling helmets, seriously, age four to seven. Oh yes. There was tons, and I mean tons of serum. For me, I think there was actually a bit too much serum, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and also, this baby, Dung like a good one. It's why I had to keep my eyes closed. You meant to keep it on for, I believe it's 25 minutes. Um, 20 minutes, sorry. And I did do that, I did manage it, but because the eye holes were so small, I had to close my eyes because the serum was getting in and my God, did it sting. Um, when I took the mask off, like I said, there was so much serum, even though I patted it in, I did this face mask probably about seven o'clock in the evening. I went to bed that night about half past 10 and my face was still tacky. And I wasn't keen on that, to be perfectly honest with you. I, um, I've tried other sheet masks since and I've not, I've, you know, they've not took that long to absorb. So I liked it, I liked the smell of it. Um, would I pay 7 99 for it? No. No, absolutely no chance. Eight quid for one sheet mask. No, it ain't happening. Um, if I could get that for a couple of pounds, then fair enough. So, let's move on to the next one. Um, now then, this next product. This was the Eve Lom Cleansing Balm. Um, and this came in a little pack with, come on, there we go. Uh, it came in a little resealable pack with a muslin cloth. This was an eight mil sample, and I have found the 100 mil version of this for 55 pounds on the Eve Long website, and you get the muslin cloth with it, I do believe. Now the muslin cloth I found actually um, to be a little bit scratchy for me and my skin. Even though I used it and I've washed it and I've used it and I've washed it, it's still quite harsh. So for me personally, no. I used it about three or four times, uh, and then I've gone back to my um, sort of microfiber uh, cloths, but this product, wow, it, oh, the smell was divine, absolutely gorgeous, I can still smell it now, it's got, it, it reminds me of Tiger Balm, if anybody knows about Tiger Balm, uh, the smell of this is exactly the same, basically, now, I enjoy that, I love it, and my skin was so soft after I'd used it. You needed the tiniest amount. This little thing, it lasted me a month. So a 100ml tub, tub at £55 is going to last you a year. Now, is that expensive? Yes. Is it worth it? Yeah. Um, in my opinion, it is worth it. Would I spend £55 on a cleansing balm? Hmm. Um... Let's face it, if uh, if money was no object, then actually, yes, I would. Um, not a problem at all, because like I say, 
the effect this was so effective at getting all the makeup off it as you oh as you massaged it in it melted into like an, a buttery oil um but wasn't greasy wasn't heavy like i say you washed it off the skin was just amazing my skin felt amazing after it um i mean i'm using at the moment i'm using the elemis rose cleansing balm and this in my opinion is way better um i have seen it on i think it was the look fantastic website you could get a 20 mil of it and again a 20 mil based on how long this lasted me a 20 mil tub's gonna last you a good four months so still really really good there we go that was the evlon cleansing balm awesome next product was the crystal clear 10 minute peel off um mask now then i think um in my unboxing video of this box i said oh, i'm not keen on peel off masks but i was going to give it a go and i have given it a go um this sample we got was 25 mils the full size is 100 mils and that's 25.99 now then actually this product has uh altered my opinion of peel off masks in a way this was really nice and easy to use it peeled off so so easily um it was very very good um and my skin did feel nice afterwards um i'm still not a peel off mask convert i have to say i am finding that i much prefer clay masks they seem to suit my skin a lot lot better but i have oily skin you know um maybe if you're somebody with more of a normal skin or sort of normal to slightly oily then you would appreciate this and also if you like the peel off uh, formula you know because it's like a gel you pop it on your fingers you sort of sort of smear it over um, but it was really nice price wise um, yeah I mean because I've used this this is 25 mil so it's a quarter of the full size um, I've used this three times and there's still a good half of it left so value for money wise i think it is actually very very good i like the fact it's in the tube as well it's um you know having to scoop it out a tub or anything like that so i think value for money wise it is very good and if this is your sort of thing then i would recommend it it's just not for me personally that's all next product we received in the box was the ico london uh, liquid eyeliner this is actually worth 16 pounds would i pay 16 pounds for it no it's a nice nib um it is a felt tibby nib it's not um it's it's not a brushy nib again i'm finding that for my crepe eyes liquid eyeliners in the felt tippy nibs are not the best not the easiest to apply i can make them work um absolutely but you know you do tend to find you get the, the dragging in your creases a little bit more with this style if it's the sort of felt tippy style like a pen style i should say but it's got more of a brush nib they're better and i think that's my overall opinion of this product is i've got better I like the size of it though because for travel, um, for going away, girly weekend, overnight, with those, but whatever, it's a really nice size. So I do like the size of it. The product is okay, it works, I can make it work for me. Um, it takes a little bit longer, but I don't think it's worth the RRP. That's me. That's me. Next product. Um, is the Luxy um, Large Angle Brush. Um, this is a really nice brush. Um, it's not the weightiest in the world, but it's a decent size um, for me personally. I mean, I've got very small kitty size hands and I actually like the size of this. Um, the bristles are really nice. They're really nice and soft. You can probably see it is used. 
I tend to find this is really good for highlighter. Me personally, I prefer angled brushes for my highlighter because you're wanting to concentrate it just sort of on the cheekbone area and I find an angle brush can do that because you can use it that way for one side and then flip it over and you've got sort of the point a bit on this end and the slightly bushy a bit up here. I do really like it. Um, I struggled a bit finding the RRP and the nearest RRP I could find for this brush was £14. Would I pay £14 for it? No. Um, I've got um, some Sigma brushes which are generally around that price point, particularly if you can get them on offer, and I far prefer the quality of the Sigma brushes. I'd pay a fiver. My personal opinion, I would pay a fiver for it and be quite happy to pay that, um, but nothing more. Uh, next item, oh now this, yeah, this is the Ciate London Glow 2 Highlighter, this was in the shade Celestial, super gorgeous packaging, I absolutely adore it, I'm going to open it up, it does have a mirror on the other side, and as you can see it has been used, I love this highlighter, I absolutely adore it, it's got a goldy sheen to it, over the top and it looks quite dark and it is quite a blinding highlighter um, but the effect it gives is is just super absolutely super um, it goes on really nicely you don't the best way is to go in very very lightly it does build up but like I say it is quite a blinding highlighter and it's got sort of that peachier undertone which I think for the summer, when I've got a bit of colour on me and a bit of a tan, because I do tan quite easily, this is going to be amazing. Um, but I, I, I do like these products. I've been impressed with Ciate London. So um, the RRP of this is £22. Again, would I pay £22 for a highlighter? Not quite sure. Um... I have seen, I did see it when I've been looking today for the RRPs, I have seen it on offer at £10 somewhere, I can't remember which website it was, I'd certainly pay a tenner for it, not, not a, I wouldn't have to think twice about that, um, but it is quite large, so it's going to last a while, um, so value for money wise, yeah, and if you're somebody who's not got a massive collection, you're of a, a slightly dark and natural skin tone to me. Um, I mean, I've got a friend who is from Zimbabwe, and so she's got a very, very dark natural skin tone. This, this would be the perfect daily highlight for her. Um, and so, yeah, even at £22, if it's a product you're going to use every day or get a lot of use out of, then the value is there, isn't it? So, yeah, I was really, I really like that. Really like that. Next product, um, right, now, <laughs> literally, this is the reason why this video uh, is not being filmed by now. Uh, till now, I should say. Uh, it's the Dr. Dennis Gross Exfoliating Moisturiser. Now again, when I opened the box, I tried a bit of this on my hand and I was like, why is it an exfoliating moisturiser? It, it doesn't feel abrasive in any way, shape or form. And it's not. It's not abrasive. It's not got any abrasive particles in it. However, um, reading on the website, it says it, it encourages cell turnover, strengthens the moisture barrier, leaves skin looking younger, Contributes to reduce appearance of fine lines, non-pore clogging. No, it isn't pore clogging because it is extremely light. Just to prove that I have used it, the smell is delicious. I thought this, when I opened um, did the unboxing and I smelt it, I said I described it as smelling like unripe bananas. Then when uh, I showed my friend, my next door neighbour actually, uh, she had a sniff of it and she said, oh, it reminds me of cucumber. And actually, yeah, I can I can smell the cucumber in it after she said it. It is a really, really nice, lightweight, daily moisturiser, easily absorbed into the skin. Um, you don't need very much at all. Um, this is a, I'm just, I think it's like 10 or 15 mils. Um, the full size version of this is 60 mil 
and it's £79 to that is pricey. However, this has lasted me nearly eight weeks. I have been using this every day, seriously, for nearly eight weeks, about six and a half weeks, seven weeks it's took to get through this little part. So if I think if this is 15 mil, you full, it's a quarter of the full size. So you're looking at a full size lasting you six months. Oh, would I personally spend that amount of money on a daily moisturiser? No, no matter how good it is. Um, it, that's just, it's too far out of my, my price range to be perfectly honest with you. Have I been pleased that it was in the box and I was able to try it? Oh my goodness, yeah, absolutely. Um, would I repurchase it? Not unless I won the lottery, but you know, again, I know that, you know, there are people out there who have a, a greater um, income level than I do. And you know what? Go on. Go ahead. Give it a try. If, if you could pick this up for even a tenner, even a tenner, grab it, give it a try, because it is lovely. My, my skin felt really nice afterwards. I don't know if it reduced the fine lines and wrinkles too much. Um, to be perfectly honest, but it was a really nice lightweight daily moisturiser. Next product is the Nea Bay um, Body Radiance Lotion that we got. Now, I haven't actually used, well, I mean, I've used it twice, and it is really, really nice, really lightweight, easily absorbed into the skin. Um, my skin felt really nice after using it. But I'm saving it because it's got citrus in it. And I think I've mentioned before, I'm somebody who gets bitten to death. I mean, my legs are covered at the minute and we're only March. Um, so I'm saving it for the summer when the bugs really ramp up their attack on me um, to try and help stave them off. Um, but when I did try it, you know, it was... It was lovely, really, really nice. This is a full size 250 ml bottle. You can get in at a larger size of 400 ml, and that's I've seen it for just under nine pounds. That's amazing. It's a great price price point. Um, and to be honest, I'd like to try some more products from this range. Uh, it's natural. It's organic. Yeah, really like, really like. Okay, we're down to the last couple of products. Um, the Pixie Tinted Lip Balm. Okay, now then, I've had a look for this, and apparently the RRP of this is around about eight pounds. I'm gonna, I had this problem in my unboxing video. The packaging is so cheap and nasty. If you're charging eight pounds for this, I'm sorry. No, it needs far better packaging. The product itself is okay. Um, it is quite heavily tinted. It reminds me of the little tinted lipstick balm things you used to get when you were a kid. It smells like that as well. And you know what? Would I pay £8 for that? Absolutely no chance. I might pay a pound in a pound shop. Absolutely. And if you're somebody who suffers with very, very pale lips naturally, then this is a really, really good, you know, product idea to use. I just think... For me personally, I just don't think it's worth the price point. But there we go. And the last product that we received, uh, again, this took me quite a while to use up. Um, this is the Hangover Hair Elixir. Now, this is an Irish um, hair care brand. This is a 15ml that I've got here. The full size of 75ml. I've seen it for two prices, about £24, and I've also seen it at £30. Now then, what did I think to this? Unfortunately, mm, no. The smell is really weird. It says it's got whiskey in it, and I think you can smell that. It was very thick, um, so much so that there was quite a few times it sort of coagulated in the top, and I had to get uh, like a pokey and poke it down um which disturbed me slightly it went like a jelly type consistency 
Um, it took me ages to use it. You didn't need very much at all. Literally a couple of drops. If you did more than that, oh my God, it just made my hair really lank and one thing and another. But for me, no, I wouldn't repurchase this at all. Um, I'm using, I've used the Hask hair oil that I really liked and that was like £2.50 for a 10ml tube. I'm using a Nux one at the moment, I really like that. Um, yeah, no. Pleased I've tried it because now I know I'm good, I can steer away from it. You know, you've got to find the positives in everything. So overall, what did I think to the Black Friday Look Fantastic box? I really liked it. There was a lovely range of makeup items to skincare. You've got the body care item, you've got some high-end stuff, you've got um, some more affordable stuff-ish. I really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed trying the products out. Um, like I say, I've got ones that now I know I'm sort of like, mm-hmm, they're on my radar. Um, other ones that I'm like, yep, steer clear and that's what these boxes are all about ladies and gentlemen it's about having a go trying something new if you like it fantastic if you don't you don't it, everybody's different you know my opinions um might not be yours um but anyway there we go that's today's video i thank you for watching as always like i say if you are new to my channel i hope you've enjoyed this update video um if you've liked what you've seen and you'd like to see some other content for me make sure you hit the subscribe button either down here or the icon with my face in it here which will appear shortly turn your notifications on uh, because i do upload around about three to four times a week um sometimes i drop a fifth one in there so you know i don't want you to miss anything uh enjoy the rest of your day everybody and i shall see you in the next one